Hey, new friends. I had a few video ideas lined up until the hate train arrived and I realized that I either had to get on board or wait for the next one. Because I don't think anyone is of a mind to watch gameplay or guides about this game right now. Either because you're pissed about Ubisoft's incognito status or you're off playing the Ring City DLC from Dark Souls. So apparently a lot has happened recently. The stream was pushed back and everybody's tearing the guy who's in charge of it apart. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the stream wasn't going to have anything super relevatory anyway, so that alone isn't any cause for concern. But earlier when I wanted to play, I couldn't. The servers were taken down and I hear shortly after that they removed two maps from the Dominion playlist and that the PK was banned from MLG tourneys. If there wasn't cause for concern before, now there is. It's pretty embarrassing to have to ban one class from a tournament because not even a whisper of an update was made yet. Now I know they get a lot of flack for being so shy and incommunicado these days, but it's mainly because most of us know there's no excuse for it. You can't stay silent this long and expect your customers to sit on their hands, literally unable to play your game on top of that, and then expect them to churn out some art for your marketing. The shitfest this game is causing could have been easily seen from a mile away. When the vast majority of your player base are encountering class imbalances, broken mechanics, disconnects every third or fourth game or so, not only will they turn on each other, but they'll turn on a company which has had a sketchy past with other games before and hasn't said much of a word on any of the major problems plaguing this game currently. The lack of communication can be addressed if they assigned a dedicated community manager, and I'm not entirely sure what their reason is for not having done this already, but it's definitely a flimsy one at this point given how low the playing population has sunk to. It's just very hard to believe there isn't one person in the Ubisoft hive that's in charge of their community image in For Honor. If there is, they're doing a terrible job at connecting with their users. If they ever think of putting someone in charge of this community, they're going to have their work cut out for them. The PK news isn't much of a surprise. For the first week of For Honor, I didn't think she was OP. I learned to parry her lights and I thought she was counterable. But when they started in with the zones, it got increasingly harder to beat PKs due to how fast it is. You always have to guard your right with her and even if you're good at seeing her zones, she can still spam you with some fast lights, which depending on your connection and frame rate, can be nearly impossible to block or parry. I'm not sure what kind of nerf she needs, but she definitely needs some work. In terms of PC versus console against a PK, on PC she can be very hard to counter. Pairing a light can be pretty challenging and feeling out her zones is all down to how well you can read your opponent. But on consoles with their frame rate issues, pairing a light must be like a godlike thing to pull off. And from what I hear, they have just as many connection issues than PC and maybe more. The hate this game is currently generating is from what I see just a ton of people who care about this game and its unique premise and who are extremely disappointed by how it was handled. Nobody hates on something this much without caring a whole lot about what they're hating. If you didn't care, you wouldn't feel the need to try to communicate your problems with it and how they can fix it. Some of us who love this game were rather hoping they'd get their shit together and come out of their foxholes, which they can still do, but they've done nothing but add more problems to this game, especially when they remove two maps from the playlist without much of an explanation. Right now, nothing but a fully dedicated community manager or two can fix this problem. You can't just throw a few crumbs at your player base and expect people to invest time and money in your game blindfolded. You have to open up, or the mood of the community will shift from murderous intent to apathetic and your game will be a desert town in a few months. It sounds dramatic, but that's just how easily a game can die with the wrong management. What I can say about Ubisoft's efforts at this point is at least their responses haven't turned sour like it did with that ukulele controversy thing. Anyway, that's enough of an opinion for one day. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. I'm always up for a good debate and I'm always open to being proven wrong. Regardless of whether or not this becomes the thing that kills this game or is just a rough patch it needs to go through, I'll still be releasing some more opinion videos some gameplay and maybe a guide about this game. There's still a chance they'll turn it around like they did with Rainbow Siege. We'll just have to see if they actually learn from their mistakes or if they'll blindly repeat them. In the end, none of us really know what's going on in a company of this size and so we may never know what truly kills a game. We just have to deal with the information that's given to us, which isn't a whole lot at the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching.